Hello! How are you? Hope you're well. Um, thought I'd blog because I haven't done it for a little while. Just to say um, hello and to update you on a few bits. Um, I'm not sure if I've done it on my last blog. So if I have already said this or made reference to it then sorry. But um, essentially I've done my hair. As you can see it's kind of faded a bit now but it's like all black cherry the colour. I think I like it. Um, I've kind of always wanted to dye my hair since doing this, but I was a bit worried that it might affect the condition of it. But, you know, since I used to dye my hair 20 years ago, I think the conditioners and, you know, the dyes themselves are a lot better now. So, I've done it, and I'm pleased with the results, and it's every girl's right to dye her hair. So there you go. Um, yes, I've been in Selma Daughter. That was amazing. Um, give you a bit of background, because I don't know if I said this in my last two blogs or so. Um, I used to Skype her quite regularly, um, once, twice a week, and since moving into my new home, because you notice my surroundings have changed, um, <coughs> I haven't got internet, so I've been using my phone instead, as you're aware, because of this, um, and it's kind of been an excuse to not Skype anymore, and it's I found it really difficult, and it, you know, it got to a stage a few weeks ago, well, about eight to ten weeks ago, where she would seemed reluctant even to speak and I had managed to meet her last week and it was quite a concern for me and her mum essentially because we were concerned that she wouldn't want to, to talk or spend any time with me when we did meet up in London but as it turned out it was amazing um, you know she never sits to, um, below my mind kids are so accepting Yes, the separation hurts us both, um, and the saying goodbye is its absolutely heartbreaking when your child is saying, no, don't go, please, I don't want to go. I hate it, but in the same breath, the fact that when we do spend some time together, just me and her, it is like nothing has changed, and I'm still the same person. I'm, you know, I'm still her dad. I'm just a happier version of that person, and therefore, I said that on my Facebook and stuff. I think that gender doesn't define parenthood. You know, a, a dad is a dad, no matter what gender they are. Um, I have made friends who are single mums, and you know, the fathers or so-called fathers of their children have less to do with their children than I do with my daughter, even though I'm a transitioning, you know, female. So. In that sense, I think, you know, I'm I'm doing what I can. It is difficult. Um, don't know what else is new. I think I may or may not have mentioned this in my last blog. Um, I wrote a letter to my mum about going back. The nights were still dark quite early. I think it was around about March April time. And I told her, I explained to her how none of this was her fault, and I'd always had feelings like this, and you know why I'd try to do everything to fit in, and it hadn't worked, and therefore I was going down this route. And um, yeah, so I, I did a six-page letter, and I wrote to her, and I said I'd understand if she didn't want to contact me, but if she didn't, just to her, let her know that I love her, and I still care for her, and I'm still her child, and um, that was. An emotional thing to do, but I still did it, and I heard nothing back. And then it was a, about sorry, someone peeping outside. Um, <clears throat> about two weeks ago, it was after her birthday, and um, I hummed and hard about sending her a card because it was her 60th birthday, so it was a big, a big deal. And I thought, well, I I couldn't for a number of reasons, and. A few days afterwards, I was thinking, I was saying, do you know what, this has gone on long enough, it's ridiculous. You know, at the end of the day, I'm still a child, and I'm just a happier version of the child that she had. I you know, was trying to build bridges again. So I phoned her, and my mum's got an answer machine, so essentially she'll listen to whoever's phone in, and then if, um, if she knows who it is, she'll pick it up. And I left a message, and she didn't pick it up. And she could have been out, or... She could have been doing something else, but I've heard nothing back since. So that's 
like the third rejection now because she told me she didn't want anything to do with me over a year ago now and then I've written to her and she has said she, you know I've heard nothing back and now I've found out I've heard nothing back it's very tough but my family are my friends and they help me through stuff and I'm just putting more of an emphasis into them currently. Um, you know, I haven't had a few weeks now to have the post, I guess, first assessment analysis from Charing Cross. I was a bit frustrated in so much as how much time there is between my next appointment and now, but all I can do is continue to do what I'm doing. Um, I've had a few things come up in the pipeline regarding diverse and diversity and um, inclusion work. So working with um, the Borough Council down here, Pool Borough Council, and there's, some st there's an opportunity coming up at work to do some stuff and I also met a very interesting lady. Um, hi, if you're watching this, I won't mention your name, um, who works for the NHS, who's doing some research into this as well. So, you know, there's, I don't know, it's really weird how your life kind of takes paths at certain stages and my, my path seems to be heading in that way um, it's something I'm really passionate about um, I believe equal rights or equal rights doesn't matter who you are it's kind of weird as well because it's the 28th of August tomorrow 2013 which makes it um, 50 years since Martin Luther King's um, famous speech um, I dreamed you know I had a dream that speech in um, Washington and it's I was reading an article about it on the BBC News and about Kennedy at the time, how he was like, didn't want it to go ahead and everything. And it's unbelievable that today we're still talking about equal rights 50 years on from that. I know it's different because that was about, um, essentially, that was about, you know, race equality. But it, it, in the same breath, they still have issues over in America now. And, you know, certainly black trans women, there are a lot of issues there in America for them and they, you know, a few were murdered a few days ago. It's, it saddens me that, you know, people don't judge people on their humanity. They judge them on what they see or their you know, sexuality, gender, race, whatever. It's so frustrating. But if I can do one thing to change someone's perception of trans people, then I've done enough. I have to do more than that. But, you know, I guess, I don't know, my brain's in a weird place at the moment, it's kind of how I've been struggling with the whole trans thing and not in so much as that I don't, I think it's the wrong decision or that I regret doing it because none of those things are true. I think that I don't want it to be the only thing that defines me. But I'm also very proud of the fact that I am it. Um, I know that some trans people want to be stealth and all that. That doesn't really bother me. If people know I'm trans, everyone's got a past. Um, but, yeah, I've struggled with that a, a lot lately. And, you know, I, there, I have a few really good friends who, you know, have been getting on with their own thing and that's cool. But, um, yeah... I'm seeing a few of them hopefully this week, well definitely one of them this week anyway, and one of them maybe this week or the week after. But isn't it amazing how people who are certain things to you and certain elements of your life you know, fit with different people and how when you're not around or you haven't seen them for a while, sometimes it really affects you. And you know, going to the gender clinic brought up a lot of stuff that I don't really come to terms with and dealt with, you know, in the first 12 months or so of my transition, so it'll be interesting to go back and see those people soon, and whether or not that'll come in conversation or not, I don't know, I'm sure it will, but I don't know, that's the stuff that's been going on for me lately anyway, um, I'm okay, don't get me wrong, I'm okay myself, and I'm being the best that I can now, and looking back over a 12 month period, of, you know, since last May, so, 18, is it? No, 15 months, come on Debs, 15 month period since I made the decision. My goodness, how I've come so far. Um, 
yeah, I feel like I'm rambling a bit, so I am going to stop. But I just wanted to tell you guys that, you know, I'd had a really good time with Dora. It was amazing. And, um, you know, she never ceases to amaze me. She's so brilliantly and loving and kind. And it just goes to show that if everyone was like kids were and just treated people for the people that they are, as opposed to the kind of person that they are, and by that I mean by the fact that they're gay, bi, trans, black, whatever, then I think the, the world would be a far better place. So with that thought, I'm going to sign off. A bit deep, I know, but hey, we all feel like that at times. Um, good few weeks to look forward to, and um, yeah, I will blog again soon. So, I wanted to sign off with a witty remark, but I can't think of one. <laughs> so, take care of yourself, loves. Speak soon. Bye.